why we take our shoes off in yoga class. Okay, so I'm gonna look around first to see, anybody have shoes on? No, but socks. We're gonna take our socks off today too, just for a little bit, okay? Just for a little bit. I know you get cold, so don't worry about it now, but when we do our little you know, feet sequence, I really want you to do that. And that's one of the reasons why I have the camera today, because it's an important thing. Now take your feet in, and I just want you to shake them out a little bit, yeah. Good, okay. All right, so we're gonna work a little bit on neck mobility, but we're also gonna work on our feet. So actually the two of them uh, pair together, right? So we're gonna do something called the foot sliders, but we're gonna incorporate the use of a Kleenex. So Julie, can I ask you to pass out Kleenexes to everybody? So as she's doing that, we're going to use the movement, yeah, we're gonna take off our socks, and we're gonna use the movement of the foot and the toes. You want to take your socks Take your so talk, socks off, yeah. And as Julie's passing around the Kleenex, I promise you won't be crying. It won't hurt, it won't hurt. You might get frustrated and cry, but all right. Thank you, dear. Okay, so everybody take their uh, left foot up and I'm mirroring you and just point and flex. Oh yeah, that's the mobility we're working on. Now I want you to curl your toes like tight and then pull your toes backwards. Yeah, just your toes, if you can do that. Good, and do the other foot, just point and flex a couple times, stretch it into the calf and then point your toe and then pull them back. Yeah, good. Okay, so that'll be a similar motion, and I'll take one too. Thank you, my dear. Yeah, thank you. All right, Can you have good. the second one, please? <laughs> thank you. <laughs> okay, so this is what's gonna go on with the, the Kleenex. It's gonna go right in the middle between your two feet. Okay, so we've done this um, pose before. It's called foot sliders. It's one of my somatic uh, movements I got from James <laughs> Knight, which I love. So we're gonna t first check the mobility of our neck. So the ability to extend our neck back like this, you guys, we're gonna increase that. So hands on the laps, we're gonna take a breath, and when we exhale, I want you to lift your chin up and look at the ceiling and notice a stopping point. Could be a light, a fan blade, a little squiggle. Good, bring it back to the center. Now left leg is gonna slide out. We're gonna keep sliding until we wanna straighten out the leg, but it's not gonna straighten. The toes are still on the floor. Then I want you to flex your foot, Good, curl your toes, your foot is still flexed, right? Drop, and then slide back in, and now when you're back in, press the ball of your foot down and your toes up, and if you can, spread your toes. So the ball of the foot is really pressing down. Good, that's gonna be that movement, we're gonna do two more times. So we go slide, we go flex. We go point, tight, drop, back in, toe mounds down, toes up, and spread. And one last time, here we go, slide, Flex, point, drop, all the way back in. And this time I want you to come to the center and try to pick up the Kleenex with your toes and bring it up to your hand. Oh, oh right. I dropped it. Forget, it. Forget that, he says. Okay, so here we go. If you picked it up, it's gonna go back in the middle. Okay, here we go to the other side. Okay, so it's the right foot slides until you, that toe wants to come off, then we flex. Now if you ever get a cramp on this one, you guys just don't do the movements so extreme. Come back in, toe mounts down, toes up, and wide as can be, good. Here we go. Slide, flex, curl, drop, come back in, toes up, flare the toes if you can. Good, and one more time. Slide, flex, curl, drop, back in, lift those toes up and spread them, and now take that Kleenex, grab it, and bring it up. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, you got that one, huh? Interesting. Okay, good. Okay, bring it down again. Bring it down again. Okay, so we're gonna do our after effect with our neck to begin with, okay? So we're gonna just check out the neck and then we'll talk a little bit. Okay, here we go. Hands on your left, take a breath. Exhale, lift your head up. Oh yeah. Boy, I got about, ooh, foot and a half. Anybody get it anymore? Yeah. yeah, so the idea here is, and now this is what we're gonna do with our feet, you guys. If you can, take the Kleenex again, pick it up, but you're gonna come into this little kind of pigeon pose thing, right? And you've got the Kleenex. How does that work? Yeah, I know, I'm gonna tell you about that, okay? So this is the important part. You can put the Kleenex down because we're gonna do it with the other foot. Okay, so everybody flex your foot. And we've already investigated this before. This is the plantar fascia, that nice little ridge like that. It's the, um, the arch of your foot, right? It's a piece of kind of connective tissue and it should be uh, kind of mushy to the touch, not really hard and rigid, but guess what? Underneath that fascia are muscles 
that pull up your arches. So when you wear shoes that give you arch support, what it's doing is just creating um, an artificial support, but it's not strengthening your plantar fascia or your feet. So only that ability to pick up with the Kleenex in your toes, that's what you're doing. You're lifting your arch using your muscles. So if you can't easily do that, sometimes it means that your feet muscles are just not strong enough and you just need to practice with them, right? So then we wanna go like this. We wanna pull those feet down straight and curl the toes, yeah. And then we wanna take the toes backwards and then a couple times. So this movement, you guys, which we did in the foot sliders, this right here, this little crease of your toes, maps to the curve of your neck. And when we can stretch this part of our foot, we actually release the fascia that goes all the way up to the neck. So that's why we do those little toe movements, right? And the last one we're gonna be working on, and I, I mentioned this last week, and I don't know if anybody's been practicing. Take your left hand like this, and then do the Star Trek salute, be well and prosper. Can everybody do that? Come back together and do it a couple times. You got it, Terry. Okay, now take your toes and do the same thing. The outer two toes stay together and the next two toes stay together and go in and out, in and out. Can it, wait, can everybody's toes do that when you move them? Okay, you can. Now let go of your hands and see if you can do the same. No, no way. So that's your homework. Just to see, just to see. Because if you can spread your toes wide, right, you have that ability. And now let's see how smart the brain and the body connection can be to, to do that. I'm working at it. One foot can do it a little bit better than the other. Okay, so here we go, to the other side. We're gonna pick up the Kleenex with the other foot. You see, she did it, see? I love that, yay. Well, I'm gonna get the video camera and do a, a swoop into that one, okay, at the end of class. Okay, everybody pick it up with the other foot. Good? Yeah, oh, you're <laughs> cheating on that. Okay, so then you can just take your Kleenex off to the side somewhere. All right, so plantar fascia, right? Everybody find it? Flex your foot. You'll find it when you flex your foot. If your finger, uh, toe is pointed, it's not as much. And then you kind of just find that ridge, right? So underneath that ridge are muscles that draw it up. And that is why, you guys, you have to take your shoes off in yoga class because we work those muscles. If you have shoes on, you're not working those muscles. And the other thing is, let's point the toes and curl them back a little bit. There are 26 bones in every single foot. That's a lot of bones. <coughs> and the reason for that is, is that because they can be, they can support your balance. So you just like move your foot around and you can see how many little bones in each of your toes, right? And the top of your foot, the base, all of those. Yeah, bless you. They help you when you balance. So when we do our tree pose, I want you to notice that. Your foot will be moving and gyrating and lifting and all of that. That's why you need to take your shoes off. Oh, are you grimacing? Arthritis. Yeah, I know. So you know what, we didn't do that with the other foot, but let's do it with this foot, you guys. You're gonna pull your toes long. Okay, wiggle and pull and wiggle and pull each one. Yeah, this is called tractioning of the toes and the joints, yeah. Good, oh, we've gotta do the other one, yeah. Because otherwise the other foot's gonna feel like it's neglected. So just pull those toes. And we love our feet. The feet are our foundation. If our feet aren't in good shape, then our knees and our hips and our shoulders will be bummed, right? Good. And then bring that all the way back down. Good. And then do a little like that.